so let us come back and see such questions now till now what did we do arrange the following compare uh, increasing order decreasing order now certain faq questions will be quite common like this by in your whole chapter there will not nothing of direct question will be asked to you remember either they may give you uh, identify a b c where, where i've done the questions already or they may give you in this way to complete the reaction now as soon as such react, uh, reactions are given to you just observe carefully now what is this particular uh, re, uh, reactant chloroform in alcoholic koh which reaction did we learn chloroform in alcoholic koh that is studied under carbylamine reaction so take your pen and just write here carbylamine reaction okay done <clears throat> next what did we see what are we seeing here h3po2 and water and one more yeah ethanol both h3po2 and ethanol both are reducing agents i have already done this question under uh, bdc reactions so remember h3po2 is a reducing agent done ethanol also is a reducing agent done let us come back what is concentrated sulfuric acid used where is it used it is used in sulfonation of aniline isn't it remember you have, we have done sulfonation step by step reactions so sulfuric acid <coughs> is used as sulfonation for sulfonation and this is done we are left with this what is fe in hcl fe in hcl metal in acid it is also a reducing agent SN by HCl, Fe by HCl. Didn't we learn this? We've learned this. Now let's come back and do. In carbylamine reaction, the most important product is formation of isocyanide. So learn carbylamine first there, then only come back to these questions, please. Otherwise, you will not understand the concept. So this, <coughs> I see aniline in carbylamine reaction first gets converted to isocyanide. Please, yes, the leftover you will get KCl. <coughs> and water both three and three yes this is your carbylamine reaction the final product now when i have to see this particular reaction i very well know whenever you have reducing agents like this whenever bdc reacts with these reducing agents only one important common thing simple just remember only two you have your uh, cbse your ncrt one is h3po2 and one is ethanol right H3PO2 being a reducing agent, it gets converted to higher oxidation state that is H3PO3. Ethanol being a reducing agent, it gets oxidized. That is that is what is a reducing agent. Alcohols and oxidation gives aldehydes. CH3, CHO, aldehydes. Please remember, alcohol and oxidation gives aldehydes. H3PO2 to the higher oxidation state, H3PO3. First, you try to write these two. And all are common now, simple. So, this one gets converted to benzene here. This also gets converted to benzene. I have already done one video on this. Please watch that. Apart from this, you have nitrogen. Here also nitrogen because when you uh, heat uh, BDC, you will get nitrogen uh, gas out, isn't it? Now, along with this, your Cl is there in BDC, HCl, HCl. That's it. Common reactions. Only thing is this. You have to concentrate on this product. Remaining all are same. Now, next, this is your sulfonation, isn't it? So, what do you do in sulfonation? you will get two products ortho product and para product which is the major product so try to write the major product simple you have your aniline nothing don't show the whole mechanism which i have shown earlier <coughs> so3 h that's it major let's come back now this is a reducing agent i said so when this is a reducing agent what will happen it's going to remove oxygen and add hydrogen reducing agent so <coughs> It helps in reduction and itself gets oxidized. So it's going to add hydrogen to this. What do you get? C6H5 NH2. And aniline. Simple. Once again, when such reactions are given to you, see what is given, what is its role. See what is given, its role. Its role. Everywhere try to write, write its role in that particular reaction and automatically you can write the reaction. 